Hello my beautiful people, welcome to the next in the weekly general series with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So when I went into my intuition today for the week ahead, um, interestingly enough, what I could see was a set of wings. Um, and you know, that for me is always obvious. It's it's about taking bold new leaps, but it's also, um, it's also about protection. I see, whenever I see wings, I always think, yes, birds, but I always think of angels. I always think of that sort of divine protection you know when some when you take somebody under your wing what are you doing you're looking after them you're showing them that they're okay that they can do whatever they need to now what I actually saw was a, you know this really fierce bird and it was flying so fast that I could see like streaks of air or cloud sort of like whizzing off the back of its wings um, and what that kind of meant for me what I heard was trust your wings you need to know that this is your week so if you're thinking about launching something if you're thinking about getting out there in some way shape or form if you're thinking about making a bold move or a big decision of some sort trust your wings you know how to fly you have everything that you need within you uh, including all of the courage that you need to summon in order to trust those wings right the i think the saying goes if you if you jump you'll find out if your wings are going to catch you or you'll find out if the universe Universe is going to catch you. I think this is one of those weeks where you are going to have to be brave, where you are going to have to be bold, and you're going to have to launch into something completely new. Um, and whatever that looks like for you, it's going to be different for everybody, right? For some people, this will be in their relationships. For some people, it'll be in their work. For some people, this is about making a decision that's been a long time coming. Whatever it is, this week, you need to understand that your wings will catch you, that you have everything that you need in order to fly, okay? So now is the time for you to get your wings on and to discover what it means to truly fly, discover what it truly means to you to fly, all right? So let's have a look, see at the destiny card for all of us over the course of this next week as we head into May. Can you believe it? All right, and we get the Magician card, right? So talk about trusting your wings. Talk about delving into your own power. Talk about delving into... Um your you know your your personal mastery your personal uh, you know bad artery if you want to call it right the magician card is always about where you are firstly it's the number one right so this is about something that you are initiating can ask for a more perfect card right that's why i love this because you just can't make it up um your magician card as a destiny card is basically saying what is it that you have to say what is it that you want to present to the world how is it that you want people to know you how is it that you show up? How is it that you are communicating with the world? This card represents the planet Mercury, right? It has a very strong link to the planet Mercury. And for that reason, it's about communication. It's about speaking, writing, listening. Uh, sometimes it can be about public speaking. This is about all of us in some way, shape or form showing up to put ourselves on the wider world stage. This is about you claiming and owning your mastery. The magician is always somebody that is at the highest of their game or at the peak of whatever it is that they do, uh, usually because they are studied, they are seasoned, they are learned. Now, the thing about the magician as well, they understand all of the currents of life. They understand how to work with uh, all things, right? This is somebody that knows how to use uh, universal energy, but also their own mind, their own intellect, all of their own skills to direct them at whatever it is that they want to do. So your destiny this week, your destiny this week, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> it's kind of like a mission, right? Um, your destiny this week, should you choose to accept it, is to put yourself out there to show people what your knowledge is, what your knowledge base is, what your expertise is. It may very well be that in some way, shape or form, you are asked to step forward or step up. You might find that you're put in a position where you have to speak up, where you have to share something uh, with the world about yourself. You know, this is about you moving into that space and owning all of your own intellect, but also owning all of your skills. This is about you showing up 
as a true master of whatever it is that you do. Now, if this is about you launching something, the magician says that you're, you know, I think the, the saying goes, um, you are you are more than good enough. In fact, you're probably overqualified, but let's start the week humble. I absolutely love that. I think the first time I ever heard that quote or the first time I ever read it, I almost peed myself laughing because I was just like, that is perfect. It really is, all right? So let's have a look at the direction. Let's give it some context and see what this might talk about. Also, on a wider world stage sort of, um, oh shit, okay. They're all jumping out at me, sorry. Language, potty mouth. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of cards here. All right, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles. For a lot of people, this is gonna to have to do with your work or your profession. For a lot of people, this is gonna have something to do with how you show up at work, but also the skills that you have. It may very well be that you have uh, an understanding about something that somebody didn't really know that you could do or didn't know that you were into. You know, this could be you showing up at work or maybe even deciding to go in a completely different direction when it comes to your work, when it comes to your career. Uh, then we've got the Knight of Pentacles, right? So slow and steady is going to win this race. So although you are launching into something this week, don't expect to see, uh, you know, I mean, always expect miracles, but don't expect to see like, oh, you know, I went from uh, launching my my channel to having a billion subscribers overnight. You know, if you're, if you're looking for that kind of energy, you probably won't find it this week. But if you are starting something and you are willing to put the work in, slow and steady is going to win. In this race it basically says that whatever you're starting this week has a very powerful chance for bringing you success or seeing the results that you hope for then you've got the temperance card so this card this kind of looks a lot for me like we're going to be hearing seeing a lot going on with finances with money this week uh, why do i say that because you've got the two pentacles cards there then you've got the temperance card which is about what you align with what your values are we've just had a new moon in taurus right so we're going to start to see that new moon unpack unfold and we're going to start to see this on the wider world stage now or going back to what I was saying earlier it does look like we're going to see something happening with a prominent figure I feel like one is either about to stand down or one is going to be uh, sort of interim elected so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and then finally, we've got the Five of Pentacles, right? So I do a spread uh, called the Temperance Run because temperance is about what you're balancing. So on one side, we've got the Five of Pentacles. Uh, this can be about lack. Sometimes it can be about financial hardship or difficulty. And then on the other side, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this is basically saying, don't allow yourself to be controlled by the circumstances that you find yourself in right now, okay? This is about reaching for a higher ideal or moving towards something something bigger, something bolder, and understanding that you do have the ability to change it, you just may not be able to do it in the time frame that you're hoping for, all right? So, and that's the biggest killer of most things, isn't it, is timing. Um, you know, I, I used to do this to myself all the time, probably about... 10 years ago, I really started to grapple with it and get over that whole idea of, oh no, I've, you know, I've, I've missed it. I've missed my opportunity. There are always more opportunities regardless of what is taking place. Um, I also feel like this could be a week where we start to see, because uh, I've got five of pentacles, the knight of pentacles on top of the temperance card. Uh, I also feel like this could be a week where we start to see what's going to happen with the schools. Um, you know, so that could be interesting as well. So let's have a look at the insight card what is the energy that is making its way in for us and this week we get the king of pentacles so this week is it's all about the money it's all about the dum dum da da dum dum i don't think it's funny i like that song um it's a song that was on the radio when i was a kid showing my age now who listens to the radio <laughs> Um, so as an insight card, right, your king of pentacles is basically saying a lot of people this week are going to be looking at their profession. A lot of people are going to be delving into their careers. Um, a lot of people are going to be looking at their finances in different ways. Now, I haven't shared this up until now, but I think it's probably relevant to do so. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. My allergies is driving me mad at the moment. It's hay fever season. So, you know, anyway, um, for weeks now, I mean weeks, probably about three weeks, I have been hearing the term uh, or the words in my, going round and round in my mind, follow the paper trail, follow the money trail. 
and I don't know why we've got a, a new moon happening in Taurus that's going to be conjunct Uranus and I do feel like we're going to see something happen on the wider world stage when it comes to money when it comes to finances it may well be the stock market it may well be uh, you know the idea of uh, a universal currency all of that sort of stuff we might see something like that start to take place um, but I do feel like when it comes to money finances banking, uh, stock markets, all of that, we are going to see some very interesting developments over the course of the next week and possibly the next few months actually. This new moon is going to set a lot of things into motion. Um, so your king of pentacles, highest expression of the suit, right? So this is, and the sun is currently in Taurus, right? Taurus rules the king of pentacles. So again, this is a really great energy. The sun is currently in Taurus. So we're going to be seeing um, a lot of uh, a lot of talks around this sort of stuff. I actually feel like agriculture as well is going to be a big topic this week, um, you know, and not necessarily just because everybody's worried about the supply lines. I think this is more a case of we're going to start to see a lot more developments in that place, uh, in that space, and I actually think we're going to start to dedicate more time to it, um, you know, over the course of the next few weeks. In terms of the, the King of Pentacles, this is really going to see a lot of people questioning, uh, you know, their jobs, their bosses, their companies. Um, it's going to be a time where a lot of people are really thinking long and hard about what they do for work and whether they want to change that or not. So what are your skills? What is your expertise? I mean, the King, uh, the Magician card, falling right over the king of pentacles this is uh, a lot right this is you know looking at your finances looking at your career looking at the practical application of the skills that you have bringing whatever expertise and knowledge that you have into a practical expression so that you can start to get the most not only out of life but out of yourself as well it's going to be a really interesting week for everybody i believe with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. What do you see happening with this? Um, if there's anything, like, I love it when you guys send me news articles. Like, as soon as I've posted my videos and then a few hours later, like, I'll get a, somebody will email me with a snippet and say, have you seen this? And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, if you have anything like that or you see anything pop up, please let me know. With that said, take care and I'll see you soon.